Hey everybody! Today we're gonna make some tacos. I'm very excited about this, but I'm not at the same time because, well, in my other set of things, we received tortilla chips, but they didn't give us anything for them. So I have no toppings whatsoever. So I figured what I'm gonna do here is make tacos, right? We're gonna make the cute, adorable tacos with the cheese and lettuce. But I'm gonna have extra of both of those things, and I will probably have extra beef. So we are gonna add them to the chips. Um, but then I realized that I also have a hot dog kit. So I was like, wait, we can make like chili cheese dogs. So, you know, we're, we're going to do it all at the same time. And then mustard and ketchup, that mustard probably looks like cheese. So I feel like with the nachos needing cheese and all that, I just, we're going to make like five minis at once. We are going to make tacos, nachos, Hamburgers and hot dogs. Oh, that's four. I lied to you. Sorry. Four minis at once. Um, simultaneous, because I think it just makes the most sense that way. So I do have three tables lined up. I probably need four, but we're going to work with three. I feel pretty confident today that three is enough. Why? Because I don't have a choice. So here we are. We're going to get some stuff out of my way. We're going to set up taco number one. So now how am I going to do this? I'll tell you. I'm only going to do them one at a time in the dyno. I'm going to cure them, and we're going to hope that that works out how I think it is in my head. I'm going to move this table over a little so I can center this bad boy because my uh, my brain didn't like that. I needed it even. I wonder if I should set the chips up too so that as I use the ingredients, I can just kind of do my thing, like add it to the nachos as well and the hot dogs. This is going to be really difficult, though. Maybe that's the plan, though, you know, so I could just do each ingredient one at a time. Well, this will be entertaining. I know everything happens for a reason, but I really paused it to check my message from my son and my entire tripod launched. So we're going to set up the hot dog buns and the, um, well, hot dog bun, right? Because I'm assuming that only one is going to really fit because that's how we do things in the miniverse, right? Uh, what I do like is that, you know, I can almost forcefully get the bun out without having to cut the bag. I wish that they would make it a little more friendly so that we didn't have to destroy everything all the time. Um, because, you know, I like to keep the bag. I think it's cool. I, I don't know. I'm weird. I don't like that the buns are two different colors. One looks real, one looks very, very blatantly fake, which kind of stinks in my humble opinion, but whatever. Oh, my Lanta, do not fall. Get back up there. All right. I'm trying to, like, use it to hold it up. I think I'm going to do the same with the taco, to be honest with you. Um, just kind of prop it in between so that it can't actually fall. That might be the best thing I've done in a hot minute for myself. We'll see. It could also be the worst. Um, I have things stuck to my hands. So, okay, we've got two things set up so far now. Over here, slightly off kilter. Can I get everything in the shot? Like The amount of times I've had to start and stop is unreal. So right now we're unpacking our little spicy tortilla chips for our nachos. And I'm trying not to cut the actual chips because they're... At the top of the bag, being a little petty spaghetti, get a little snippy snippy, get a little twisty twisty, and pull. Okay, cool. So let's just take a quick sneak peek. Those are adorable. Oh, it didn't open all the way. Are you for really reals? Here we go. Who wants to see the cute little tortilla chips? I'll try to... Come on, cooperate. We all want to see the cute little tortilla chips. Oh my gosh. They're adorable. Oh my goodness. I cannot use all of these. We're totally saving a few um, for a few reasons. Why? Because obviously it's just too much on the plate. That's unnecessary. Um, so don't be wasteful, right? We want to make sure we save as much as we can so we can make other minis look super awesome too. You want to add a lot of ingredients to your nachos. So I'm, I mean, I do. I don't know if you do. You don't have to do anything though. Oh, there's an odd one in there. A weird shaped bad boy but yeah so um we're gonna put that in there too so yeah too many nachos means you can't put a lot of cool stuff on the plate with them so 
with the resin, like really, that's probably how many I actually need on there. And the rest will get covered by toppings and resin. So it won't really matter so much. Actually, I think like we're at a really decent angle on the camera. And I'm going to be able to get all of that in one. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? Let's have some extra silly fun because this is not real life. So I can make burgers on the floor, right? Y'all okay with that? I'm kind of okay with that. It does kind of bother me a little bit that I'd be making the burgers on the floor. But you know what? Sometimes you get what you get and you don't get upset. Can I have more light? Woohoo, more light. All right, get the second bun out. Boom, that was loud. That was my dishwasher. When I said boom, it also kicked on. So it was just really good timing. But that was definitely louder than I thought it would be. Here's the top of the bun in case you were curious how cute it is. Because my focus is over there at the pile of stuff on the table, you know. So we're just going to put the buns over here for now. Um, so I don't misplace them because I have a weird feeling. Burger. Um, what order should we do for the burger? Should I do like a little ketchup? Then the cheese. You don't put cheese at the bottom. What am I saying? Okay. What are we putting at the bottom? If you put lettuce, it gets soggy. I guess it has to be the burger. So I guess, yeah, like five guys would put um, ketchup at the bottom. So I guess we could do that. Before we do that, let's get our hot dogs set up then. For sure. The hot dogs are super adorable but very hard to show off. So here we go, let's give it a try. The grill marks, I want you to see the grill marks. They're so cute. All right, how cool am I? Oh, I'm not, okay, hold on. Let me just pick it up. And it is that easy, you just kind of snap them in. Drop it on down. It doesn't really matter where the grill marks are if you're just gonna pile a bunch of crap on top of it. So pardon the bad word, but. You know, if you don't know who I am and you're here, that's not good. Go check out my other videos. Make sure you know who I am. Because I am me. I sure am. I am a whole me. So, not like for we you, though. I'm not like a we me. I'm just me me. Okay. I don't think I've ever been ner nervous like this to do minis. Um... Also, I'm going to use this cream cheese frosting as sour cream for little shenanigans over there. Now, I think I'm going to do one hot dog, just ketchup and mustard. No funny business, no nothing else. Um, I think it'll be cute, and I think that that's my best option. Now, I'm not sure where exactly I'm going to hide the resin while I do this, um, because I say it like that. Because everything over here is some type of UV light. Because I didn't realize my LED light can also give off UV. So I have to be very cautious about this. Unless that's an old wives tale. But I, I don't know. It said full spectrum UV. So I was like, oh, I don't want to mess up my resin. You know? So let's just do the first hot dog to get it out of the way. Since we're just going to make one basic and then make one crazy. Right? All right. What goes first? Mustard. Let's do mustard. I'm not confident. Someone told me to warm these up first, and I really am already regretting that I did not do that. Oh no! Well, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. I squeezed it a little too hard. I did get it to come out, though. And that's pretty neat, right? I have a weird feeling this one's going to be easier. Yep. Oh no, I got it on my thing. Come on, just a little more. Just a little, little more. Over that way. Okay. Now here's what's really going to happen is I'm going to rescue this dino because that really bothered me. Like, we just got this. Let's not mess that up already. Okay. 
Um, there is the smallest drop of resin that is on the bun, and I don't like that. So we're going to just obtain this real quick. And I'm going to sacrifice my glove a little. Put this back down before I mess it up. Okay, beautiful. All right, I love the way that looks, actually. It's perfect. So we're just going to give it a little curie cure. And I'm going to move it out of the way altogether. And I say a little curie cure because I'm going to put all this stuff in the oven at some point. So I'm just doing enough that it doesn't make a mess while I'm working on the other stuff. Now I got my resin all the way far away from this, so you don't have to worry about that in this particular video. Here we go, besties. That's our first hot dog. Let's put it right there. All right, so while we still have the ketchup available, what we're going to want to do is just put, in my opinion, a small bit on the outer ring of the buns just to kind of be able to cure the burger to the bun. I could be wrong about how to do this, but you know what? I don't actually know what I'm doing. So we're winging it and just having a good time living our best life, right? I'm making a mess because that's what I do. I do be messy. Oops. Told you. It was quick. Like instantly caused a mess on that. Spilling it everywhere. Oh, what the hey? They gave me two little black trays for the um, burgers. So it just like kind of got stuck there. Okay. Squish it down. Make a messy mess on purpose. Right? I don't like this particular mess, though. I don't know if you could see, but yeah, I spilled. So I'm going to just grab this up real quick, clean it up a little before I drop it back down near it. Now it's all over my gloves. That makes me so sad. I hate the mess. Love it, though, at the same time. Just going to semi-cure whatever we can on the outside of this so that maybe it will not fall apart while we're making it. I don't expect this to work like glue because all considering it, it's going to stay wet on the inside, right? So I don't, you know, I don't have high hopes for that. You too. No, I'm kidding. Like, this is not my best choice. This would be smarter. There. Boom. Just give me a little cure, you know, and like not a big cure, just just a baby cure. Let's prep this ground beef. We're gonna open this bad boy up. Fortunately, it almost looks like the same exact stuff as the dirt, so this should be easy to maneuver with my hand, I hope. Yes, yeah, sort of. Sort of. It's actually more like the um aquarium stuff, actually. Okay, you know what? I don't like you. The mess I'm about to make is unreal. Let's uh let's try to prevent the mess from occurring. I found these are my um tweezers for tiny electronics, but tiny tacos too. Let's refocus a little so you can actually see. We're going to stuff it in the best we can. Really? I tried to like super focus and it was like roar, unfocus. Okay. Cool. We're looking good on the first one. Actually, it's a little overfilled, I think. But we'll make one basic taco, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. I know you guys know that I don't know what I'm doing, so whatever, you know? We're winging it. We're having a good time, right? That's what matters. Let's just have a blast. Yeah, of course. Okay. Come on, get it together, girl. 
get it together. It cannot rain tacos because that means that I have dropped them. So let's make this work. Okay. Much nice. Appreciate the much nice ability. Super focus. I'm going to put a little bit on my hot dog. You know, like a chili cheese dog. Oh, or not. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a little more. Put it in my hand. And we'll take it from there. I'm trying to crumble it or something, and oh my goodness, that is not an option. All right, let me just pick the whole thing up. Wrap around here. Okay. What I'm doing is forcefully putting it on the hot dog now. Because it doesn't want to be on it, apparently. Stop! Oh, my lantern. Where'd the, like, lost the container of beef for a second there? Wasn't even sure where I put it. Yo, it won't come off my glove. There we go. That was crazy. Like, do I put resin on this real quick just to make it not move? Like, sheesh. I mean, what else? Do I want to waste my shredded cheese on that? I don't know. We'll see. I guess I'll continue what I'm doing, and when I get to the point that I can wonder whether I'm wasting or using leftovers, you know, then we're good. But I don't know. That's too much. Too much beef. I wish I could, like, ground up some of the plastic avocado and make guacamole, you know? My inner gut's like, get creative. And I'm like, how? With what? I don't even have anything green. Or I would use scallions. I mean, I would make scallions. I would probably use them, too. Of course, that's the whole point, right? Make it to use it. But... Oh, the ground beef lord. Be nice to me. Like, please. I'm, like, shaky. I don't feel good. I really would like to just have some fun. And relax. You know? Playing with my favorite thing ever. Okay, I'm pretty content with how that meat looks. Except that one spot there that's, like, off to the side all by itself. Maybe we can, like get it to join the group. There we go. Okay. I, you know what? I know I'm going to put something on it anyway, but we're just going to do like that. And maybe a little more over here. Cause it like, we can get messy. Oh, that, no, no, not all the way over there. Like maybe that. Yeah. Okay. That actually looks really cool. The nachos might be my favorite thing. So for those of you wondering, um, so far I actually have like a half a container of the ground beef left. Can you see? So this is still a decent amount. Maybe not half, but close. Very close. All right. So now we're going to pick this bad boy up because I don't like that that fell. There's a little piece of ground beef here. Oh. I said no. Okay. You know what? No then. No is the answer. All right. What's next, guys and gals? What's next? I'm not even sure what to do here. Um, catch up on the burgers, I guess, so that I can put the other ingredients on them. Same as before, see, you're just going to make like a ring around because it doesn't make sense to waste it. Nope. Or we're going to get a little wasteful on that one. And I'm going to put ketchup on this. Before I can't, you know. 
There we go. All right, so Mr. Ketchup, I'm gonna move you somewhere safe so I don't make any mistakes there. Uh, what would go on next would be the cheese, right? All across the board, I believe. So um, I don't know why, but for the burgers, they gave three slices of cheese, which is kind of suspicious a little bit. You're just going to want to pat it down a little bit, but not too much. You don't like lose your cheese either. Um, when you're in the curing process, if you want to get creative and hold it down so that your cheese looks folded, you can. But I'm going to try to do it after because I'm not really feeling that stress. Yeah, I literally have one extra slice of cheese um, and I'm not going to waste it. We're just going to put it away because I have no idea what I would use that for. Uh, anything else we need right away? Bada bing, bada boom. No. All right, let's start micro curing. We'll call it for now because I'm just trying to again, like just a little bit. I don't, I don't need heaven here. I just need solidity, solidity, solidity. I forgot though. I want to add shredded cheese to some stuff before I get to the curing part, right? So let me do that real quick because, oh my goodness, it's, it's gone. It's everywhere. Okay. All right. I, you know, I swore in my head that I had this, like I was going to be all right and not make a wild mess. But here we are. I'm picking cheese up off the floor. Don't tell Mythbusters. It's been more than five seconds. Oh my gosh. I really made a mess, guys and gals and everything in between. That's all right, though. Uncooperative little piece of cheese. Okay, it actually looks pretty cool. I like that. Um, I'm thinking out loud. Sorry. Because I'm not sure that I want to put the hot sauce on there yet but I think I'm going to. I think it makes sense. I think that the um, chili cheese dog needs a little mustard to also help keep itself perfect. The, what do you call it here? What is this? Hot sauce, the hot sauce. Very neon orange. I love the neon orange. It's very awesome. Um, hopefully it'll be awesome enough to hold the cheese down. I love that it came right out of the container at first, like, it had no problem with me. But everything else don't love me particularly, so... Here we go, mustard. So on here, we're gonna pretend mustard is cheese. Beautiful. And then on here, mustard is mustard. That was probably the sloppiest, horriblest job I ever could have did. Oh wait, no. So I gotta let that drip because I'm dumb. That's that's a my fault kind of thing. Because basically I was supposed to put this on the hot sauce and I was a little too slow. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So I almost just cured the hot sauce in place on accident. I maybe would have cried about that a little bit. Can y'all see what I'm making a mess out of over here? This is so bad. And how I threw it all in one place is beyond me. Like, that was creative. Everybody's so creative. That's this hot disaster right now. Tell me how I just got a resin thing stuck to my finger. Like the, you know, the foil lid that I always fight with. That thing. Where's all the cheese that was in my hand on my desk? Okay, whatever. It's good enough. Right? I got more of it on my damn burger where it don't belong than in the nachos.
but all right. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Now I can start to rescue things. We're getting there, though. I'm feeling really confident right now that I am making a solid premium mess. I do not like that extra cheese there, but hopefully the other side looks better. All right. Let's get Kieran. Kira, Kira, Kira. Nothing has any fun colors under the light this time, which is kind of disappointing a little bit, but that's all right. I'll cope. I'll cope. I'm supposed to hold it in one place and not spin it around in circles. I just have issues, and I like to spin things around in circles. All right, let's hoose. Let's hoose. Oh, no. Hot soos. Hot soos. Because I got to hold it down with something, right? Like... It's not going to hold itself down with the power of nothing. I'm going to add more hot sauce to both of these. Put a good amount. And then we're going to put some hot sauce over here. That's amazing. I'm sorry I keep putting my arm in front of y'all. I'm trying so hard to not um, like block the camera. But it's harder than you think to do this and actually like you know not block it all I'm really sorry I'm learning I'm shaking it's not helping something's getting awfully yucky one of these resins are stinky in the taco bro in in on anything dude like just tiny cooperation even will work for me i don't need full cooperation boom okay this looks terrible on this side come on all right you know what i'm trying not to make a mess i am but the mess maker in me said pick it up and fix it because I'm not happy. And what's going to happen is I'll finish and then get really pissed off that I did it wrong. And I'd rather make my tweezers dirty and have to fix them than not. So here we are. We're just going to fix my problems. Boom. I like that a little better. That's a little more functional. I like that. Clean, clean off. I said queen off. Queen. Queen tweezers. They are the queen tweezers. I'm not feeling so enthusiastic about the lettuce this time around, not gonna lie. Like, maybe I'll put less... I honestly wish I, like, ran this through a food processor or something to make them smaller. Because that would have been cool. It is shredded lettuce. It's just, you know, it's shredded lettuce. It's lame. It's not really laying correctly. I tried to sprinkle it, and it don't sprinkle, so now i got to place it and be all weird about it. We're probably going to use up all of this lettuce, in my opinion, because... I don't know if I want to keep, like, two little shreds of lettuce. That's kind of crazy. Take the lettuce. No! No! That wasn't nice. I think there's one more left in the bag after this. I'm trying to get it out, but static is working against me. Static might win. Nope, I win. Ha ha, static. A piece of cheese is haunting me. Just in there. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, we're going to add more fake cheese if it allows me. Just to kind of like lock it in, you know? Like I feel like that makes some sense. And we're going to focus on the nachos for a minute so that the camera doesn't keep going crazy on y'all. 
I'm trying to add a little mustard to the burgers, but I think I'm like out of must. Oh, all I gotta do is say I'm out of it, and it's like, no, 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 you're not out of it yet. Okay, all right, let's get our tomatoes on the burgers. One, two. I think they're in there actually. That's smarter. And then one, two. Okay. Now we are going to cure these bad boys a little bit because that center is never going to cure literally ever if I don't cure it now. And then I'll just add more ketchup and then put the lettuce. And then maybe some more something. I don't know. We could put hot sauce on it, I think, to be fancy if we really want. I don't have a problem with that. Oh, the lettuce lights up. And I'm dropping things. Surprise, surprise. I just stabbed a hole through my glove. All right, I'm feeling confident that I just threw the foil on myself. I don't know where it went, but it's on my clothes. Rushrecording.com because I didn't realize my husband is almost here to pick me up to go food shopping. So off camera, I grabbed my cream cheese spread and we're just going to try to put like a dollop of it. Oh my goodness, I think it's going to work. Because, you know, like, when you order nachos, they'll give you, like, a dollop of sour cream. So we'll put two dollops of sour cream here. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. I hope it stays in place. That would be really amazing if it could stay like this, and I would love it, and that would make me very, very happy. But in all seriousness, we got to get some mayo on the um, burgers. For the lettuce, I gotta kind of keep it moving because I'm supposed to go to the store. So we're gonna add some mayo to our burgers here. Yeah, you know, on the two sides, basically, you just want to have enough on the sides so that a little bit squirts out the burger, and you could use it like a glue. But it's not like so messy that it looks like WTF did you just do? You know. All right, we've got our little mini mess over here and over here. And I'm gonna just pick up that little bit of mess and try to get it back up here a little bit. All right, now I have another white fork, hooray. I'll try to add something else to the fork and make it look cool. I hate when I do that. All right, let's get this lettuce. The lettuce is like kind of pre-curled a little bit. Um, so I don't know. Oh, it does. It fits perfect. It does fit perfect. I don't like it on this side, though. Come on. Move over. Yay. Okay. Oh, I'm a perfectionist in my head. Maybe not in real life, you know, but definitely in my head. All right. Time lapse, BRB. I almost forgot and I totally beat my camera when I uh, just came back. I didn't cure my fork yet, which is good news, because I really almost forgot that I wanted to add sour cream to one of the two tacos. So we're going to add some faux sour cream here. I'm going to try to add some sour cream here. Oh boy. I don't always make the right choices, boys and girls, and everything in between. it. That looks terrifying. Okay. Well, I definitely am horrified. I'm horrified. Why'd I do that? I just messed up that whole taco, guys. I don't have time to mess up this taco, so we're just gonna grab that out of the way before I mess that up, too. And maybe push it down a little bit. Oh, that's terrifying, guys. 
Oh my goodness, what did I, what did I create? Come on, stop falling. Stay up, stay. Okay. Now I'm in a little bit of a panic because I'm out of time. So what I'm going to do is try to rectify it and call it creme fraiche and hot sauce. It's much better. I saved the day, sort of. Okay, we're almost done. We got a bing, bang, boom this, so because I am definitely out of time. I put a lot because I kind of wanted to make a mess in the curing process. Like, literally, I wanted to drip off the burger. So uh, here we go with that thought process. Alrighty, everybody. What you see is what you get. Keep an eye out for the next video, which will show you the results. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you don't, and I'll see you next time. Later.